Cowboys owner Jerry Jones seldom shies away from a fight, even if his record against Commissioner Roger Goodell and the league ISNT very good lately. After failing to get running back Ezekiel Elliott's suspension overturned last year, and then taking a $2 million loss on legal fees in his efforts to block Goodell's contract extension, Jones said he had no regrets standing up to the league's power structure. When you get pretty supportive then you run or get a chance to pay the fiddler, Jones said, via Todd Archer of ESPN. I have understood that. The commissioner has that power. Jones had previously aired his concerns about Goodell's power and said he spoke again on the topic during a meeting Monday, and plans to again when they meet in Atlanta in May. It was very satisfactory and we will address more of it in May, Jones said, but I was very satisfied. May's also destination for the league's come kicking on sensitive topics such as the anthem debate, the sale of the Panthers and the related investigation of owner Jerry Richardson for workplace misconduct. After Texans owner Bob McNair stepped on a few landmines Sunday at the start of the meetings on those topics, other owners have been hesitant and have been told to be behind closed doors about speaking on the hot issues. Part of the reason they pay Goodell so much money is to let him take the heat for controversial points, so they're going to let him earn the money for them this time. I'm going to let Roger speak, too, about here, what's been discussed, Jones said. You know where I'm on it. But where it is, is everybody's going to think about it, talk back and forth on it a little bit and then well be more definitive after the May meeting. Part of the reason it's interesting to see Jones defer on any issue is because it rarely happens, but after paying a de facto fine for stepping out of line, HES perhaps a bit more willing now.